It's week 32 of A Year of Wisdom. Let's get to reading. Day 223, Job 11. Then, so far, the Naamathite answered and said, Should an abundance of words go unanswered, or a man full of talk be vindicated? Should your loose talk put people to silence? And when you mock, shall no one put you to shame? For you say, My teaching is pure, and I am clean in your sight. But, oh, that God might speak, and that he would open his lips to you. And that he would tell you the secrets of wisdom, for insight has many sides. And know that God on your behalf has forgotten some of your guilt. Can you find out the essence of God, or can you find out the ultimate limits of Shaddai? It is higher than heaven. What can you do? It is deeper than Sheol. What can you know? Its measure is longer than the earth and broader than the sea. If he passes through and imprisons someone and summons the assembly, then who can hinder him? For he knows those who are worthless. When he sees iniquity, he will not consider it. But an empty-headed person will get understanding when a wild donkey's colt is born as a human being. If you yourself direct your heart and stretch out your hands to him, if iniquity is in your hand, put it far away. And you must not let wickedness reside in your tents. Surely then you will lift up your face without blemish, and you will be firmly established and will not fear. For you yourself will forget your misery. You will remember it as water that has flowed past, and your life will be brighter than noon. Its darkness will be like the morning, and you will have confidence because there's hope, and you will be well protected. You will sleep in safety, and you will lie down, and no one will make you afraid, and many will entreat your favor. But the eyes of the wicked will fail, and refuge will be lost to them, and their hope is to breathe their last breath. Proverbs 11. Balances of deceit are an abomination of Yahweh, but an accurate weight delights him. Pride comes, then disgrace comes, but wisdom is with the humble. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. Wealth does not profit on the day of wrath, but righteousness will deliver from death. The righteousness of the blameless will keep his way straight but the wicked will fall by his wickedness. The righteousness of the upright will save them, but by a scheme the treacherous will be taken captive. With the death of a wicked person, hope will die, and the expectation of the godless perishes. The righteous is delivered from trouble, but the wicked enters into it. With a mouth the godless shall destroy his neighbor, but by knowledge the righteous are delivered. When good is with the righteous, the city rejoices, and with the perishing of the wicked, jubilation. By the blessing of the upright, a city will be exalted, but by the mouth of the wicked, it will be overthrown. He who lacks sense belittles his neighbor, but a person of intelligence will remain silent. A gossip walks about telling a secret, but the trustworthy in spirit keeps the matter. Where there is no guidance, a nation shall fall. But there is safety in an abundance of counsel. He will suffer trouble when he loans to a stranger, but he who refuses a pledge is safe. A woman of grace receives honor, but the ruthless gets wealth. A person of kindness rewards himself, but a cruel person harms his own flesh. The wicked earns deceptive gain, but he who sows righteousness a true reward. He who is steadfast in righteousness is to life, as he who pursues evil is to death. An abomination of Yahweh are the crooked of heart, but his delight are those with blameless ways. Rest assured, the wicked will not go unpunished, but the offspring of the righteous will escape. A ring of gold in the snout of a pig is a woman who is beautiful but without discretion. The desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked, wrath. There is one who gives, yet grows richer, but he who withholds what is right only finds need. A person of blessing will be enriched, and he who gives water also will be refreshed. He who withholds grain, the people curse him, but a blessing is for the head of him who sells. He who diligently seeks good seeks favor, 
But he who inquires of evil, it will come to him. He who trusts in his wealth is he who will fall, but like a green leaf the righteous will flourish. He who brings trouble to his household, he will inherit wind, and a fool will serve the wise of heart. The fruit of righteousness is a tree of life, and he who captures souls is wise. If the righteous on earth will be repaid, how much more the wicked and the sinner? Ecclesiastes 11 Send out your bread on the water, for in many days you will find it. Divide your share in seven or in eight, for you do not know what disaster will happen on the earth. When the clouds are full, they empty rain on the earth. Whether a tree falls to the south or whether it falls to the north, the place where the tree falls, there it will be. Whoever watches the wind will not sow, whoever watches the clouds will not reap. Just as you do not know how the path of the wind goes, nor how the bones of a fetus form in a mother's womb, so you do not know the work of God who makes everything. Sow your seed in the morning and do not let your hands rest in the evening, for you do not know what will prosper, whether this or that, or whether both of them alike will succeed. The light is sweet, and it is pleasant for the eyes to see the sun. For if a man lives many years, let him rejoice in all of them. Let him remember that the days of darkness will be many, all that is coming is vanity. Rejoice, O young man, in your youth, and let your heart cheer you in the days of your youth. Follow the ways of your heart and the sight of your eyes, but know that God will bring you into judgment for all these things. Banish anxiety from your heart and put away pain from your body, for youth and vigor are vanity. And as always, thank you so much for being here today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right there and click the bell if you want to get notifications and hit that like button for me if you would. I will see you tomorrow. I'm standing at the crossroads. I'm lost without a clue. I need a big pink neon sign to show me what to do. I thank you, Lord. It glorifies you when you're the only answer. I praise you, Lord, for holding what's too much for me. And I'm amazed by you, Lord, because nothing's too big and nothing's too small to lay at your feet.